I've been using this old uh, Delta contractor saw for about the last 20 years and decided I needed something with a little more horsepower and it was time to replace it. Uh, well, I will probably miss the sliding table that I had on it and everything, but I'll be putting it on Craigslist shortly. And, um, you know, I decided to uh, buy a Grizzly cabinet saw with five horsepower to uh, replace it. Um, they had a good deal and they had a uh, email coupon for 10% extra off. So I decided to uh, give them a call and order one. Well, from the I ordered on a Sunday and three days later they had the... Um, saw halfway across the country and ready to be sent out for delivery. Um, I just couldn't believe how fast Grizzly was able to process the order and actually ship the item. So um, the day has arrived. It's here. The uh, UPS freight truck pulls up. The poor guy, there was a, uh, they shut down the road he was coming in on and he got a, had a long detour to get to my house. I felt sorry for him, but he seemed like a really nice guy, and um, he found his way around it. So, uh, you know, here it is. I've got that uh, Presto lift out that I used for unloading stuff, and um, it's time to uh, get it off the truck. Now, the last time I ordered a 8-inch joiner um, from Grizzly, UPS Freight totally destroyed the box on it. And um, luckily, they didn't damage the item, but uh, the box was complete toast by the time they got it off the truck. And the table saw seemed to arrive in a, um, you know, a little better condition. There were some problems and some, uh, you know, hits on the box and stuff. Not that I'll show you later, but... Um, it wasn't in too bad a shape. Now, it, uh, the saw itself and the fence that came with it, I think they were about 560 or 570 pounds. Um, so, it, you know, it really was nothing for that Presto lift. The worst thing was trying to it moved that 1,200-pound lift around on the road that had, you know, just been graveled not too long ago. So that made it a little bit tough, but um, the, the box actually came right off the truck fairly easy. I think that that Presto lift is probably one of the um, the handier tools that I've purchased. I don't know if you can really see it now, but that, that box on the top with the fence in it is actually um, pretty banged up and trashed. Looks like it had, they had dropped something heavy on it and then gone back and uh, Put all the pieces in and just wrap some tape around it to hold everything together so i was a little bit concerned about that but um this saw had some things and bangs in the crate it looked like it could have been you know pushed into by a forklift a little bit and maybe um you know had other boxes up against it during shipping but that didn't look too bad uh so uh, we decided to take that top box off there that had the fence in and before the guy left and I accepted the shipment we wanted to make sure there was no major damage in it because the box was in real bad shape so you know upon opening it um it really was just the fence and a couple of uh big heavy angle iron brackets um they looked all right you know you couldn't really tell if they were bent or anything but they did look all right so I just had um I had the guy actually um report that there was some damage to both boxes just in case you know there was any problem later when i went to assemble the unit and that's what grizzly basically told you to do they said if you see any damage whatsoever um if it looks too bad to, you know just reject it and if it's not too bad to just have it signed off on the paperwork which basically is what the um the driver did he um he listed all the damage on the paperwork, and then he called in the office to also report it. So, I mean, that was really just a, took two seconds to do. So that was really a, um, you know, an easy thing to get off the truck that wasn't too heavy or anything. And um, we got all the paperwork straightened out. It only took maybe about five minutes to unload it, right up to paperwork. And um, then the driver was ready to be off. Um, Basically, he needed some new directions to go where he was going next because the, um, the road actually was closed that he was supposed to be taking. So, um, you know, I gave him a, a couple pointers on which way to go, and um, he was off. Normally, we only get, like, one car going by our road every hour or two, and um, 
today for some reason there have been uh you know just a ton of cars going by so i guess i should have known that there was a uh, detour going on somewhere and that there was another road in the area closed it's kind of hard to believe that a uh, grizzly can get a uh, almost 600 pound item halfway across the country in like three days and um you know, if you go to order some a little two-pound item off of Amazon, the next thing you know, you're waiting 10 days to get it. So here I am just kind of pulling it off the edge of the road there just to, to get it out, you know, out of the way. And um, my driveway is gravel, so it's really hard to pull on that. So basically, I just have a chain that I hook onto the handle on the, the front of that Presto lift and uh, drag it down the driveway. Yeah, that, that lift weighs like 12 or 1,300 pounds by itself without anything on it. So, you know, it does get tough. It's got small wheels, and it gets tough to um, pull off a piece of gravel. should get stuck under one of the wheels. So um, there it is, just pulling it down the driveway a little bit to get it off the road. And I must say that uh, UPS does have some uh, really great and helpful drivers, um, you know, delivering their items. And here's a little better view of the box that was kind of trashed up. Um, you can see how it had been ripped open, ripped apart, and uh, taped back up. So the next thing I decided to do is throw it on a trailer. And uh, actually, that's a little trailer that I'm building for my next project to uh, set my generator on to make it easy to move. So I figured that I'd, you know, just give it a try out here to set this uh, box on and um, get it one step closer to my house. Seeing how it's so hard to, um, you know, drag that Presto lift around on gravel with the weight on it. So, you know, just take a couple seconds to drop it down on the trailer. And um, the trailer seemed to um, hold it pretty good. And, you know, I think it's going to work out okay. And, I mean, there you can kind of see how it looks like that whole cardboard box is kind of shifted on the top of the uh, pallet there. It looks like it took a hit from the back there. And then there's a, um, a big dent in the box on the top where it looks like they may actually have uh, grabbed it and crushed it with a, um, a set of those pallet clamps or something like that. So, you know, basically next thing to do is just kind of take it down by the house and start to uh, unpack it and see if there's any damage inside. And let's see, there you get, you know, see how it, you know, had taken a couple hits in the corners and um, it looked like it was shifted on the pallet and whatnot. But, you know, only opening it up will tell if there's any damage. So the, the box, it actually there were some plastic straps you took off and the box came right off. Um, luckily, there was some good foam pad padding in the top and all of the other parts were kind of just packed on the crate around it um yeah they had the cast iron extensions and everything standing up on end there and um it looked like they were all in good shape no damage to the boxes or anything so i took all the heavy stuff off and then i was able to pick the saw up on that uh pallet with my tractor loader and you know just kind of bring it around to work it work it into my shop so here we are just kind of going across my yard with the, um, the saw on the loaded loader. It was a pretty non-eventful thing. My loader is supposed to be able to pick up 800 pounds and I think probably what I had on there was probably only about you know 450 pounds after taking all the parts off of there so yeah, that was a real easy thing. Someday I'll probably make a, um, a setup fork so I can actually use this for unloading items from trucks too but um i just haven't gotten around to that yet so there you are i got it you know back to my shop basement door and um luckily it was narrow enough to fit through and i had this uh beat up little old dolly that's supposed to handle like a thousand pounds so i just um dropped it off the loader and i you know set it on that little wheeled cart which I was kind of wondering if it would hold it, but there was no problem holding it. And then I was able to just, um, you know, wheel it through the door and pull it right into my shop. So, um, you know, this is kind of like the first part, just showing unloading it and getting it into my shop. And uh, shortly I'll be doing a video about uh, the assembly process of it and, you know, starting it up.
So here you can see it's, um, you know, it's well packed. It's coated with a uh, very thick codmaline like that's got to be removed. But um, there it is basically safely in my shop now. And like I said, um, I'll be doing another video shortly about, you know, what it took to assemble it and, um, you know, kind of what alignments I had to do to it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.